Hello boys and girls. Welcome back to the Midweek Escape Artist. Now, I have the entire one wind hammocking system set up here for you. Um, you saw me camp with a hammock on the top in our last video, which I'll link up in the corner for you. But this is everything, everything that they make for hammock camping. And I've set it up as best I could. <laughs> I'm still learning. There's a hell of a learning curve for this stuff. But I'm really happy with it. I really, really am. So tonight, we're going to be hammock camping in this guy and um, like I said I've got everything attached that I thought was even reasonable to buy so I'll just quickly run you through what that is obviously I've had the top for a little while um, it's never failed me wonderful top I'm really really happy with it it deploys super quick it's just the right size waterproof it weighs almost nothing a fantastic piece of kit then next up we actually have the 11 foot zippered hammock which so far has been really really awesome i'm very very happy with it um sets up really quickly the first time i put it up it was a little bit fiddly but we got over that real quick so there's the hammock then i have got the winter sock now i was, thought i would try this out um sorry it's not the winter sock it is the long undercoat protector but it also acts as a bit of a windbreak which is great the actual winter sock is up here. I don't have it over the hammock right now because I, I don't think I'll need it, but I might put it up tonight just to see. But yeah, so there's the winter sock. This is the long underquilt protector. Underneath that, I have the one wind um, underquilt, which has also been really, really good. Last time I camped with this, I was toasty all night long. It was fantastic. And then underneath that is the actual hammock. And then under there, I've got the little gear cradle. That they sell as well now i must be honest with you i haven't figured out how to attach this properly yet um, but i will figure that out and i'll i'll show you when i do but uh, the other piece of kit that i've got from them is um the camping blanket now i'm actually really impressed with the camping blanket it's got quite a bit of loft to it and for the price you pay it's very hard to beat i really like this piece of kit the, one of the cool things about it is it's got these little connection clips. I hope you can see those, but they actually clip to your underquilt. So you can basically double up your underquilt in really cold weather, um, which is phenomenal. Really, really awesome. But I'm just going to be sleeping under this guy tonight. So he's inside the hammock. And there we go, guys. This is uh, the uh, full one wind 11 foot hammock zippered hammock with pretty much everything that I thought was reasonable to buy now I'm going to camp in this tonight and tomorrow morning I'll come back to you and tell you what worked what didn't work how I slept um, judging from the last video I think it's going to be just fine but um, like I said there's a lot more going on this time but uh, yeah guys I'm super excited for this one um, hopefully I can wrap things up in the morning for you with a verdict and uh, my thoughts on it like I said, I am very new to hammock camping. This is my first ever hammock. This is only my second time ever camping with it. So, uh, you know, there is a learning curve with these things, but so far it's pretty much phenomenal. All right guys, so while I've got you here, I just thought there's a couple of things I really wanted to mention about this system and hammock camping in general. Now, hammock camping might not be for everyone. I fully understand that. There is a hell of a learning curve. There are some cons to using a system like this. But there's also a lot of pros and there's a lot of stuff you need to think about and consider when making a decision whether this will be for you or not. First thing is, you can set this thing up pretty much anywhere. Now I'll say that again, you can set it up pretty much anywhere. Um, if the ground is uneven or there's rocks or there's branches or you don't want to disturb the ground, this thing goes up and over the ground like whatever whatever the ground condition is is completely irrelevant so you could put this up in many many more places than you could a traditional tent um, there's also um, extension poles and hammock stands available so if there aren't any trees even then you can still put a hammock up which is pretty cool um, the second thing I'll mention to you is it goes up really fast it really does once you get used to it once you understand the steps of what goes where it goes up really 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 quickly um, which is phenomenal and it packs up even faster um, I love the way this thing packs up and folds together and everything is small and lightweight and it's just absolutely brilliant um, now I'm by no means a lightweight camper never claimed to be never will be it's not my thing I like camping with what I like to camp with and that's just how it is 
but so far this has been incredible it takes up half the space that my normal camping stuff does it weighs probably about half as much as well and it is the most comfortable sleep I've had so far camping now I'll confirm that with you in the morning but judging from my previous video I slept like a dream it was really awesome the third thing I'll mention to you is um, the the entire system works really really well together um, you don't have to buy everything from the same brand most hammocks are compatible with most other things so you can mix and mix and match these systems as much as you want um, which is quite cool there are a couple of other things to keep in mind though one you don't have much privacy all right if that is a big deal for you you know there's not many ways to get around that unless you're going to buy a hammock tent um, I know one Tigris makes a few there's a couple from other manufacturers as well but unless you're going to do that you're probably not going to have much privacy so if that's a big concern or a big issue for you maybe look elsewhere um, but other than that it's a really 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 great system um, if you're camping more than one person yes you are going to need a hammock set for each person I would never ever share a hammock you'll be deathly uncomfortable um, but it is possible to hang two hang hammocks next to each other with a spreader bar that's possible or you can have both hammocks connected to one tree and then two standing poles just as fine you'll just need a slightly larger top so even for multi-person camping hammocks can be totally fine now it's not my job to sell you on hammock camping but I'll tell you what I think I'm pretty sold on it <laughs> I really like it um, I'm gonna get the rest of my camp set up now it's about to start raining so I've made my timing just right but yeah, so thoughts so far, it's awesome, I love it, it's not expensive, it's lightweight, it packs down reasonably small, really, really, really good piece of kit. Um, everything I've got here is from OneWind, um, you can check on their website and have a look, I'll put a little affiliate link in the bottom for you, I get a very small percentage from that. Um, so if you did want to buy something, help support the channel, that'll be great. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to keep my camp going and uh, I'll come back to you in the morning with a verdict, a final verdict as to how this all went um, and how all the additional bits and pieces that I've had today went. And um, yeah, we'll take it from there, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you again. Cheers. Good morning guys, welcome back to the Midweek Escape Artist and I wanted to give you my thoughts, final thoughts on this guy after having slept in it twice. Now, last night was my second attempt at uh, the hammock and um, as you can see I've got a lot of extra stuff that I didn't have the previous time. Let's start off with the, uh, the camping blanket, the one wind camping blanket. This thing is amazing, <laughs> it's so good. I was warm and toasty all night under it. And because it's not a sleeping bag, it's kind of easy to get in and out and to regulate your temperature, you put your leg out. This thing is phenomenal. I really like it. And for what you pay for it, it's, uh, it's incredible value. It's super soft. It's got these little toggles on it so you can attach it to the underquilt to create a double layer um, winter sort of vibe, which is also really cool. But yeah, the camping blanket's fantastic. Very, very happy with that. Um, this is the winter sock. Now, I didn't end up using this last night because it just wasn't cold enough to do it. Um, so I'll try this one next time. But uh, I'll put it on and um, it goes on really easy. It looks pretty good. It seals nice. Um, so yeah, I think it's good. I haven't tried it yet, but so far so nice. Um, I've got the gear hammock slash chair here. And um, it worked really well. I was able to store all my clothing and my shoes and stuff in here last night. But I haven't figured out how you're meant to attach it so it's secure because you're meant to be able to put quite a bit of weight in here so the gear hammock itself works fine I just need to figure out how to attach it properly <laughs> so there we go um, this here is the long underquilt protector it's also really really good to prevent wind from getting in and under you um, this thing I really really like last night this was great it sort of 
it, uh, it came up a little bit and sort of shielded me. It was really good. I really li like this guy. Um, and uh, like you'll see with most of these attachments, they actually have their bags attached permanently, which is fantastic. Um, next item is the one wind under quilt that you saw me use last time. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant piece of kit. I really like it. It was warm last night. I didn't feel it. It wasn't uncomfortable. Really good. I like that. And finally, we come to the hammock itself. Guys, for the money you pay for this, this is incredible value. It really is. I love this hammock. Fully zippered. Um, it's got these little toggles you can attach to the guard lines and pull it out a little bit. This one here in particular is quite good. Love it. Guys, as far as I'm concerned, from a value for money perspective, this is very, very hard to beat. Um, this is the full one wind setup, everything in OD green, which is great. And uh, goes up easy, packs down easy, packs down rel relatively small. I mean, it's if, if I pack everything in the tub there, it's about half the size of what my other camping gear is. And uh, I was just as warm and more comfortable last night. So final thoughts, I love it. It's great stuff. I'm gonna keep going with this for another couple of camps and then we'll sort of reassess and see where we are. But um, yeah, the one wind 11 foot zippered hammock system. Love it, it's fantastic. Good job guys. All right, I'm gonna pack this up. I'll see you guys back at the house. <laughs> Cheers guys, ciao.